Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with a second stimulus check update video. Happy Tuesday. In today's video, we're going to discuss this $2,000 stimulus and finally some details on who qualified. I'm talking about like $4,000, $6,000, $8,000. Y'all, this is really, really good. And then we're gonna talk about how one state is giving a grant for $1,650. Y'all, it's money everywhere. Like, it's money all in these streets. Then we're gonna talk about which states are paying unemployment, which states are not. The PPP, like the PPP. Are you down with PPP? Because it's coming back and more. So if you wanna know what is going on in the lovely world of stimulus, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friends. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click that big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because it's Tuesday. Yeah, and even though it's cold, I'm gonna go ahead and warm you up with this sunshine. Okay, let me go ahead and push the wig back. All right, there we go. We'll get adjusted later. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this money, money, money. All right, so President-elect Joe Biden has supported the $2,000 stimulus checks, which are expected to be a part of another economic aid package that we know is gonna be unveiled this week, okay? So I just can't wait. But even high earners may receive some federal cash, as well as there's gonna be this still the income phase out for payments under a house proposal that was raised. Now, here are some groups that may get the $2,000 because a lot of people wanted to know. Higher earners could get the cash under the proposal. Single adults earning $115,000 and above will be phased out. So in addition, the plan would provide a full $2,000 for adult dependents, such as people with disabilities, college students, and others that have been normally claimed as dependents on taxes. Come on, come on, like, come on, come on, friend. Now, the groups that were excluded from getting a stimulus payment in both major economic rescue packages last year, you could get some money this year, okay. Now, others could still get some government cash as well. So here we go. A married couple with no children, such like myself and my husband, earning $50,000 a year, you would get $4,000. A single parent with two kiddos and making $50,000 a year. So this is like a three-piece, right? This is a three-piece at KFC. Let's keep it together. You would get $6,000. Three-piece? $2,000 per child, okay, $6,000. Now, a single adult earning $100,000 annually would get $750. So you see how that works? So it's kind of like everyone gets some, but y'all, I like it. I like it. I really, really like it. Let me know what you think. So that means before, we're gonna break it down one more time, okay? Get on the bus, shoddy. Get on the bus. That means my SSI, my SSDI, my people that were carried, my people that was claims as dependents, you're looking at getting some money, honey. There you go. And I mean, the $2,000, if you think about it, it makes up for the first go round. If you didn't get the 500 the first time and the $600, that's $1,100, and then you get an additional $900. There you go, all right? All right, so let's move on. If you're in Michigan, Michigan workers that have been affected by the COVID-19 can apply for some money from the state. So I told you guys like all this money that was in the second relief um, package, this $900 billion package on here, they are now starting to distribute the money to the states. The money should be there, they're saying around the 21st of January. And so Michigan had passed their own legislation. They're kind of doing their own little thing. But if you are in Michigan and you lost your wages, your hours, or your job due to the state COVID-19 health and safety order issued in November, you can start applying for a new grant that they're gonna have on Friday. So according to the Michigan Restaurant and Lodging Association, there's gonna be $100 million available funds as part of this relief bill. Now the measure will allow for a one-time grant of $1,650 for Michigan residents employed in specific industries after and those who complete an application. 
Now, of course, your business must have been affected. You must have shown that you are a Michigan resident and demonstrate how you lost hours or wages or your job even on there in November because of the ban that they had on indoor bowling alleys, bars, restaurants, and other things on there. So if you are one of these specific industries, you can get some money, honey. Okay, so if you are in the restaurant industry, bars, banquet halls, bowling alleys, cafeterias, casinos, food trucks, golf courses, hotel, motel, bed and breakfast, resort, nightclubs, theaters, and any other recreational facility, you qualify for this $1,650 grant. Don't forget guys, we already have said that some other states are doing the grant. Where can you apply? On Friday at 9 a.m. to January 25th, 5 p.m., first come, first serve, you can actually go ahead and submit your application at mrlaef.org forward slash money on there. And it will ask you for information like your personal information, your employer information, and just proof of employment. And there you go, you get a free $16.50. So, I mean, you can rack up. Okay, the money's out there. You can rack up, I'm just saying. $600, $16.50, $2,000, taxes. Girl, let me get some. Buy that ebook, buy my planner. There you go. All right, here. So, right now, guys, when it comes to unemployment, majority of the states are paying the extra $300 unemployment benefits as Joe Biden continues to push for, excuse me the $2,000 check. So right now, 29 states are paying this $300 in weekly unemployment benefits under the new relief deal. Now, according to the most recent data, President-elect Joe Biden looks to extend the program for it from 11 weeks. So as of right now, it's supposed to expire in March. And he wants to increase, of course, the stimulus check amount. So some of the states that are not paying yet is Washington, Wyoming, Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Kentucky, Maine, Alaska, Florida, Virginia, Ohio, and Wisconsin. So they're saying that, hey, you should be getting it sometime towards the middle of the month or even at the end of the month, but those are the states. The rest of you, you should be getting it unless right now something's going on with your system. Now guys, don't forget there is a new round of Paycheck Protection Program. So yesterday I was live, somebody asked me about it. I was like, girl, I just ain't even really looked into it like that. But I got you today, sis. Okay, so the new round of Paycheck Protection Program will start on Monday and it'll be available to select lenders and borrowers according to the senior administration officials. Now, community financial institutions, approximately 10% of eligible lenders will be able to start accepting applications on Monday for entities seeking their first PPP loan. On Wednesdays, those same lenders can begin processing second round loans for small businesses and nonprofits who already have set up their first loan. So on Monday, it's gonna be available if you never apply for the PPP, right? On Wednesday, it'll be available if you apply for it, the first or the second go round or the first go round at that time. Now, the lending portal, portal will be available for other eligible lenders and borrowers afterward. Now, businesses might have to wait a little bit longer, okay, than they did in the spring. The applications will go through a series of automated checks before a loan number is issued. This could take about a day or so, and that's because, you know, all the fraud people were buying Bentleys and G-Wagons and on the PPP money, okay, and they went down to the clink, clink, the slammer. All right, so firms that are eligible for a second loan will be capped at 300 employees, down from the original 500, and the maximum amount for the loan this time is gonna be $2 million, which, you know, last time it was 10 million, so that's how they was able to get all this stuff. Now, applicants must prove that the revenues declined by at least 25% during one quarter the pandemic of the pandemic, guys, compared to the previous year. So the funds, they have set aside on there have been 60 billion for businesses and they haven't been able to um, approve all the applications so far, but hey, there you go, that's what you have. Now also guys, we have the rental assistance coming back and that's what I was speaking of January 21st. It should start happening for most states, but some states are going ahead and putting their information out there a little bit sooner. So in Florida, Florida said they are set to receive $850 million from the relief package and they're gonna put this in rental assistance. 
So they said this is going to be Governor Ron DeSantis made the announcement today in a written statement that the state submitted confirmation to the U.S. Department of the Treasury and will take part in the Emergency Rental Assistance Program. So cities and counties with a population of 200,000 or greater will receive funds directly from the Treasury for the program. So on here, if you're in a city and you're in a county, y'all got more than 200,000 people, y'all better be looking for it, okay? The state said the final allocations have not yet been released, but it is anticipated that more than $850 million will be provided to Florida and the disbursement of the funds to eligible areas of government to occur within the coming weeks. And this is not just Florida. That was just the first one that popped up. I seen something that was going on in Illinois. Texas had there. So a lot of people have not put out what's going to be part of the application, but they are saying that they are going to use the money. Also, look at some of the programs too, guys, that your state was giving out. I know here in Alabama, we had that um, the Governor Kay Ivey, she was extending um, broadband connectivity, Wi-Fi hotspots. They were paying like, not utility bills, but they were paying um, the internet bills for students from K through 12. If you were affected by the pandemic, she is extending that program. So if she was paying your bill for the first six months, she's gonna extend it for some more months as well. And so a lot of these programs, these grants, all these things will be coming back. I'm only one person, I can't find it all, okay? So if I don't find your state, it is what it is, right? I tried. All righty, so definitely make sure on there that you continue to keep an eye out, watch your news, let me know. But hey, what do you think, okay, about this $2,000 that dependents can get? SSI, SSDI, child support. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have some money, honey. And let me know what you would do with your $2,000. Like, how do you plan to invest this? Remember, the $600 was only a small little piece of the pie. But at $2,000, yo, we could order the whole pot. If we put our money together, we can buy our own, like, franchise, okay? We could call this not McDowell's, not, not McDonald's, not McDowell's, McMorgan's, all right? There you go, McMorgan's. All right, so that's all I got, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, buy my ebook, buy my planner. Thank you so much for listening to me, as always. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs> We're going to get the McDouble, the McMorgan Devil. Bye, y'all.